Hey Virgo, welcome to your April 2018 Tarot Scope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back, nice to see you. If you guys are new to my channel, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button, become a part of my community here on YouTube. I'd love to have you. Um, love readings are over on Vimeo for purchase. Thank you in advance for anybody that purchases one from me. Um, as well as who's your future partner readings are here on YouTube. I uploaded them a couple of weeks ago. I'll put the information in the eye in the sky for you. Really pressed for time with the holiday weekend here. So I meditated, shuffled the cards, laid them faced up, pulled your oracle. I hope you don't mind. Let's kind of jump in and get going. Okay. Your major oracle card for the month of April is clean it up. And this is about getting to the core of a situation, freedom from burden, um, sweeping away what no longer uh, serves you, and even like cleaning house. And this is, you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere is the spring. Whether it's the spring or the um, fall for my, my Southeast, just a great time for you guys to take stock and um, deal with the situation that you got going on. I mean, you have a lot of good things coming in, but you have to make a decision. And I say that because I see judgment. Um, you're asked to be um, balanced here. You've got a lot of spiritual energy coming in. You also have the strength card over here in your hopes and fears. So I feel like, hmm, it's interesting. You have the lover's card, which is about a choice or a decision. Um, it is crossing the nine of cups. So I feel like you have this energy coming in, right? Like I said, you have to make a decision. You got the judgment card here. I feel like for some of you, it's about um, a situation in love or a relationship, uh, but it's something you've always wanted. So maybe for some of you, it's between two people. Maybe for some of you, it's just simply making a choice about, um, wow, it's your time. What are you disappointed about though? Really got some fairy tale endings here. You've been working very hard. Maybe for some of you, this could be about career. I mean, traditionally, the Nine of Cups is an emotional happiness. You know what I'm saying? This is what I call the wish card. Just something's making you very happy. And I'm seeing lovers coming in the energy. So I feel like for definitely for some of you, it's in love. And it's really kind of funny because I did my love readings. And um, these I'm kind of just doing general this month. And I'm getting a lot of additional love messages for everybody. So love is in the air, I guess, Virgo, you know. And this is really kind of cool. Um, this could be you, even though you're really, really happy, you're still trying to make this decision on um, love in, in, in regards to a relationship with somebody. Let's just say that, right? Um, could be, you know, making that next step to get committed to somebody. All right. So let's see what else is coming in for you. Let's start over here, which I probably should have done initially. Your your overall energy is the temperance card. Okay. And this to me is Archangel Michael. If that resonates with any of you, um, this decision you need to make, if you're having a hard time uh, cleaning it up, deciding what you want to do, which direction you're going to go in, call in, call him in for, for, for help. You know, he's He's so powerful. He's an amazing archangel. And, you know, he can cut the cords of whatever is binding you right now at this time. Um, and it's kind of critical because temperance is all about divine timing. So it's interesting how this reading is coming in just in the nick of time for you to hear this for April. So it's kind of critical. And this is to get you going on the right path. You know what I mean? You're like, maybe you've been out in left field and not being able to make this decision or this choice, right? This uh, choice, which moral choice you want to make, um, also as well. So, um, trials overcome, trials overcome, moving in this energy for you to take advantage of moving forward. Look, yeah, you've been carrying some heavy burdens. You see the card that's under here is the 10 of wands. Um, yeah, so you're pretty close to, uh, making this final decision here. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the Eight of Pentacles here, this is about, you know, new solutions to old problems maybe, like how can I do things differently, working very hard, mastering new skills. 
This could be in relation to your finances, relationships, your career, your work, project that you're working on. Some of you may not work. Um, you know, in, in corporate America, it doesn't matter. This could be, like I said, yes, yeah, something personal you're working on, project. So you're being asked to put in the effort, and it's at your foundation. So I feel like you have, you know, about building this foundation that you need to create the change that you want, to make the decisions, especially if it's in a relationship, Okay, this time around, like in other words, you you like, okay, this time <laughs> I'm going to do things differently. <laughs> you know, I'm going to learn from my mistakes and move forward. So this is really sweet. I love that. You just have to be patient with yourself. Okay, don't, you know, don't push or force a situation. It's funny because judgment talks about, yeah, you need to make a decision. However, you know, because like a second chance, maybe with this person, maybe some of you or there's some luck coming in here because... Uh, this person has come back around again. You know, general reading is going to be different for everybody. If it doesn't resonate, if this particular messages that you're hearing right now do not resonate, make sure you check out your moon and a rising sign. But it, it's kind of funny because they're, you know, in one in one sense you have to make a decision, um, but then you're asked to 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 not push or force the situation. But I think if you connect right deep within yourself. And here you are coming in really strong here um, by the middle of April. So I think you're going to get it together and um, be able to move forward. Even though there's some disappointment, uh, we're going to get you there. I don't want to rush ahead, but King of Wands in your recent past. So I feel like for some of you that are dealing in love, this is about a um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag person in your life. This is somebody that's definitely very mature and older Um person probably um, coming through as a king so he's kind of earned his stripes and this is a very passionate person and they don't necessarily have to be this particular sun sign but the traits of this personality or this person would be like somebody that's really goal orientated um, somebody that has no problem stepping up to the plate and take a lead leadership role very passionate what they do they have a lot of great ideas in business as well and uh, they're manifestors, you know, they know how to, to make things work, you know, because um, they're so focused and they have the foresight to see ahead, you know. So this is a really um, interesting person, could even um, be a Leo, okay. Leo had an interesting reading too, you may want to check out Leo. Um, so this person, as you can see, is next to the Nine of Cups, okay. Uh, I feel this is the energy coming in, and you're on the other side. You see what I mean? Um, sorry, my camera. I, I do need to get it together with a better camera situation. Um, yeah, just so you can see the cards better. But uh, you got the King of Wands on your left, and here you are on your right with something making you happy in love, okay? And having to make a decision, being patient, working hard to get there. But, you know, this is, I find, kind of interesting because... I think you I think you need to clean. You need to clean and sweep and and whatever negative debris maybe that you have here from the past because this is your power in the situation. So this is kind of where you are now and you know maybe it's not a perfect situation or it's not a perfect guy or perfect woman. Um however, for some reason you're looking at what what you've lost, what you didn't attain. Um so you you, you got to get rid of this mindset, and this is why you need to clean house, so to speak. Clean your mind, clean your house. You know, throw your throw away, um, you know, stuff to the goodwill. You know, it's funny how the energy kind of opens up when you do a a quick, you know, going through your drawers and getting rid of stuff that you didn't wear this past season. You know what I mean? Little things like that help you uh, free your mind. You know, so you can feel like a sense of renewal and that's what you know judgment is all about renewal right rising from the ashes having a second chance here hearing the call pay attention you need to hear this call and do what you need to do right to kind of shift the energy so you can move forward seeing the truth maybe there was some truth that had to come out of a situation and now you're at this major crossroads again like i mentioned earlier and now it's about making an important plan now also know, and maybe this is why you like maybe a little like hesitant, is because this decision or this plan is going to have a long-term effect. Okay, so maybe that's why you're like, okay, so 
if I ask this person to marry me, this is it. <laughs> One of the, something like that, where you may be just having anxiety because, you know, you you just want to make sure you're making the right decision. You know, um, judgment is all about a major, because it's a major account, major life crossroads. And this important plan is going to actually kind of complete a cycle and start new. All right. So it's going to be long lasting, whatever you decide to do. So I can maybe see why there could be some hesitation here. Um, but look at this beautiful energy coming in for you. This is um, how others see you. And um, you got the Six of Pentacles. It's like, oh, my favorite, one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. Um, this is your time. You're getting exactly what you deserve. I mean, you have two major like luck cards here. You don't have the star, but come on. I mean, it can't get any better than this, Virgo. You really have a great reading. You need to check out Leo too. <clears throat> they have a very promising reading as well, especially if you have a moon and a rising in Leo. So this is could be um, money coming in, like maybe you're getting loan or grant or promotion, money, new clients. Okay. Money and love. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm serious. You know, when you combine families, you know, there's a different sense of security. And you've been giving and giving and giving, and now it's your time to receive. And I love that. And I love how it's right next to you. See how it's this energy is coming in? It's just fabulous. It actually was this way. Yeah. I mean, this is amazing, Virgo. I'm so happy for you. If you need money, it's a good time to ask for money, but I don't think you can have any problem um, receiving, you know. You're also in a strong place to, to give to others as well. Balancing of finances, having more than enough. It's always a nice feeling to feel financially secure, you know. All right. And in your hopes and fears, you have strength. So I think you're going to be fine. This reading is going to help you kind of get your head on straight, do the cleaning that you need to do, clear your mind, clear the decks. Um, another very strong spiritual card, trusting yourself, having faith. You can do it. You can do it. Whatever you're struggling with and making this decision, okay, um, you're going to be able to pull it out of the hat. You know, pull the rabbit out of the hat. Do what you need to do for yourself, Virgo. I mean, you guys, you guys got it going on. You know, you're going to come out the other side here victorious, and you're going to take back your power, you know, especially if you've been struggling making this decision. So um, I love it. This is a great card. Don't, you know, I think it's your hope. I mean, honestly, and um, you want to remain strong and do the right thing, and you're going to do it. This is your advice. Clean it up first. Clean it up. Clear the decks, okay? And look at this final outcome card. Oh, my God. I mean, you and Leo are slaying me this month. I mean, it's just incredible. This is a beautiful energy here. You have the Four of Wands. This is, you know, talk about, like, celebrating. Um, it's a happy surprise card, too. Like, maybe some of you are going to get engaged. Maybe some of you are being proposed to, okay? Uh, maybe some of you actually <coughs> get married in the month of April. You know, Four speaks about... You're know, creating memories. It's an action card. You're celebrating. You've become the change. You've moved through this decision, and you're moving forward, and you're making the most of the situation, and you're spending time with friends and family. You got over this hump of woe is me or feeling pessimistic with the five of cups over here. You know, that, that needs to, you know, be cleaned out. And it's funny because the lover's card talks about trials overcome. And so does the four of wands. So, I mean, this is just beautiful. This is just really um, an awesome situation for you to kind of just get moving in your life. You know, sometimes we just 
tired of hearing like, oh God, another delay. Oh God, what now? You know? <laughs> like, when am I going to have a good reading? You know, so this I love. This is oh, prosperity. Integration, integration of, you know, new love, new family. Sometimes it's unexpected too. So some of you might be, you know, unexpectedly surprising someone or you could be the recipient of that. It's just awesome. Really beautiful reading. Virgo, very, very nice. Let's pull you a, um, I don't know, each reading's been a little different so far. It's been kind of strange. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde or what is going on. Um, some people, I clarified their readings so they didn't get a crystal card. Um, but I think this is really... Um, pretty straightforward here and what you need to do. Let's see what energy is coming in through gems for you and or crystals. These cards are infused with Reiki. Um, the depictions are so amazing. They're so beautiful. Actually, I got to put these on my in my Amazon store if anybody's interested. Um, I'll get that in there probably later tonight if you want to purchase these. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So let's just do a couple more shuffles. What is the gem and or spiritual crystal energy for our lovely Virgos? Oh, clear, clear quartz. Oh boy, I'm tongue-tied. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this is pretty easy to get. You know, like I tell all my viewers or subscribers, look, if you have a local gem store, you can go get a piece of this. It doesn't have to be big. Um, you can maybe order something on Amazon if you want. Um, but, you know, keeping it on your person, right, for the month of April is going to really kind of bring in some healing energy, give you the push that you need to um, kind of have. You're sorry for the glare. Um you can actually just simply pause the video and just look at the card and take it in. I'm going to read it to you. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Definitely beautiful message here for you, um, Virgo. I love it. Um, yeah, clear quartz is pretty handy. Uh, I mean, pretty accessible. So if that resonates for some of you, um, you know, then so be it. Okay, soak in some of that Reiki healing energy as well from the card. I'm getting warm just even saying that. Thank you for your patience. Um, happy holidays to you guys. And I'm going to... Um, cut it here. So God bless and we'll see you in May. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.